<laughs> That's gonna be our new um, chicken wagon. We got it, the base of it all worked out. Repainted it, took the rust off, and um, put painted the wheels, put new tires on it, and it looks like it's gonna work well. Pretty exciting. The back of our chicken wagon is where our nests are, which is great because we can access it from the outside. So we just have a little clasp there. And there's all of our nest boxes on both sides. So I guess we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five on top and five on the bottom. And we don't collect them every day, we probably collect them, I don't know, every three days or so. They do fine with that. One thing I always have to remember is to collect the eggs before I move the chicken tractor because I've broken a couple of eggs before. So yes, collect your eggs before you move it. And our walls are about four feet high and then the top peak goes up to six feet, not to make it easier to get in there if we need to. On this side is our grain bin. And it slides out like that. And it holds about almost two sacks of feed, 50 pound sacks of feed. Which is really nice. It lasts in there a long time before I have to replace it. So this is the same as the other side, the three windows. We put a metal roof so it was light and protects well. And then we did a ramp, and the ramp works really well. This is, this, um, we won't have to redo this one. We just used treated lumber. We used um, very small square poultry wire just to help them get um, their footing. And we made it make sure they didn't have it too steep, but they use it so well, so no problems there. And it's really easy to take on and off. Uh, we just have, my husband cut like an angle right there, and then we got another angle right there, so all I have to do is set it on there. And then if I'm going to move it, all I do is really quickly pull that off, put it on the RTV, connect everything up, and then I'm ready to roll. This is where the chickens can go in and out, so at night if we wanted to, we could lock them up. Right now we put our guard dogs in here at night, and we have electric netting, poultry netting. We actually, we have two poultry nets connected together around in a circle. So these guys are pretty safe um, at night, so we don't actually even close this door at night. It makes our life a lot easier. Um, and this is the latch if we want to go in there. It's a much bigger door. And these are our roosts. 
We've got quite a bit of roost space. With about 30 or 40 chickens, we only fill up about, I don't know, maybe half of this tractor. When you see all the chickens in here at night, you'd think we probably could have quite a bit more chickens. The only thing that we would probably change and we're going to have to change is that that top roost is a little bit too close to the ceiling. So what happens is they're pooping right next to the wall instead of it all of it falling through. So um, we'll probably move that top roost down a little bit so all their poo-poo falls through. And then back there on the left is um, which is a PVC pipe coming out of that water tank with two nipples. And that's worked out pretty good. We did have a bell water connected to the tank and the bell water just what that black hose was and it went down and it was underneath so they could drink on the outside. I would not recommend that if you have geese or ducks because they will use all your water in a split second and they also chewed through the hose and they broke the bell water. It was a mess. It only lasted about two weeks so anyway don't recommend connecting that to an outside water if you have geese or ducks. Um, let's see what else. We put a bar in front of all of the nest boxes so they could hop up there to lay their eggs. And then on the right side, it's got a little roof on it. That's the feeder. And it's got a little trough. And we were having problems with them um, knocking a lot of food out onto the ground, like a lot of food. So we put um, poultry wire, we stapled it on top so they can still peck in there. They don't waste a bunch of our good organic feed that we pay lots of money for. And what's very interesting is they go through a whole lot less feed in here than they were in the barn. I mean, I think they're probably going through less than half as much feed. Like. I haven't even replaced it and it's been way, it's been over a month and I haven't had to replace any feed and I used to have to feed them once a week. So that is a big change from having them out on pasture. You'll feed your birds a lot less. So that's pretty cost effective for the pocketbook. We refurbished our running gear. So it was an old running gear that we um, put paint stripper on and then we took a, a sand or a grinder actually with a metal grinding attachment and we had to grind off like four layers of paint which was a terrible hard project but we got it done and then we repainted with um, a good industrial tractor paint and then we had to redo the rims put new um, what are those called? Lug nuts on them. We had to do new lug nuts and new tires. But the chickens like to hang out underneath during the day because it's for protection. It also is nice having the extra shade because we live in Texas so it's going to get really hot in the summer. So as much shade as you can give them the better. And that's our chicken wagon. And there are so many benefits to having it out here. Um, we had our chickens in the barn for four years and we, every year we tried to make sure we cleaned out the barn of all the shavings and stuff. And Every time I would do it I'd have like an allergic reaction to all of the uh, dander and dust and poo poo and it was so nasty. So we ended up just leaving it in there and doing it the deep bedding method. You end up with a lot of bedding and it's just nasty. So. I mean, the downfall of this is you got to move it once in a while, but when you move it, you'll feel so good about yourself because you're leaving so much good fertilizer on the ground. And the chickens have eaten through all the fly eggs, and as you can see, we've got lots of leftover cow bits everywhere, cow poo-poo. Chickens clean that out and eat any fly larvae that are there, so it works out really good. And we actually um, keep our chicken wagon with our goose wagon. So we pull them together and have them in the same enclosed netting, which the geese definitely require netting because they will hang out on our back porch and leave mountains and mountains of poo poo. So the geese really need to be, really, really, really need to have um, poultry netting around them to keep them on the pasture. 
Otherwise, they're just too domesticated. They will, um... <laughs> They'll just hang out on your porch. <laughs> they don't have much instincts. They have a good time out here. They got their pond. And, um, anyways, lots of good grass. They get lots of good forage. 